Hey everyone, Tim, Tim's Computer I have a HP Envy X360 M6 model laptop here. And this has a screen issue. And as you can see here, it's coming out of its coming out of its top lid. It's been cracked down here. And there's another crack all the way down this side here. So we've also discovered, if I turn this, might be tough to see. As you can see here, it's separated down here at the bottom also. This has been kind of dropped. And uh, so upon further inspection, uh, the hinge has come loose from the, from the top lid. So that means that the entire top lid needs to be replaced also. So we're going to replace the screen, we're going to replace the top lid, and we're going to do all of that in this video. So the first thing I want to do, as you can see, it's leaning forward there just a touch. I'm going to, I'm going to try to cock this back a little bit. I'm going to squeeze both sides here where the hinge area is, and I'm going to kind of try to kind of push it back where I can work on this just a little bit better, like so. Hello, everyone. First thing we're going to do here is separate the glass from the top lid. And we do that with something similar like an isesame tool. You kind of work it down behind the back, pop, kind of pop it loose. That is relatively simple. I've already done this, so once it pops loose, you can just fold your screen back very carefully. Take a close look at this point to be sure that you're not um, pinching or pulling any of these cables. And you can lay it down like this. Obviously, it's obvious to me that somebody has already, you know, kind of maybe tried to pull this tape off or whatever. It doesn't matter to me. You can see here where the hinge has separated from the top lid, so that confirms that. I will show you here that I do have a replacement. This is exactly what this top lid is. That is the most important thing out of everything, is be sure that you have a exact replica, you know, the correct version part for this repair. I also have here the brand new screen which also matches up perfectly with all the connections, all of the uh, snap cable snaps areas here on the screen, no problem. So it's very important before you begin to take very close note of how these cables are routed because these cables, there's the camera, these cables have to go back in exactly as it was originally or you will have a very hard time snapping your screen back in. So it's very important to document it. So what I'm going to do off camera is I am going to record very closely all these areas. So I have footage to go back onto. When I go back and get ready to get started to put this back together, I mean, you can see they're even routed in up over this hinge here and some of these uh, you know, pieces of tape and such. I mean, it, it, it has to literally go back in exactly as, and route it exactly as it is originally. Um, now these uh, cables down here, uh, those are obviously derouted a little bit. I'll do the best I can with that. We'll figure that out as we go, so to speak. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is to remove this screen. So we'll just pull the tape, pull up some of this tape. See if I can pull this off here without getting my arm in the way here. It's not taped, I don't think. Let me see, make sure this cable's not taped. It feels like it might be taped. There we go. There we go. So there's our data cable. Go ahead and pull it completely off like that. And uh, now we have this little small connection here. piece of tape holding that down so it looks like there's a 
uh, ZIF connector here we got to flip up. Let's see if I can get that with my fingernail. Yep, that flips right up. I'm looking close. There is a white label line here for the cable itself. It's kind of tough to show you with the camera, huh? Since it's... Yep, that pulls right out, as you can see. Yeah. It looks like, actually, it looks like this... Got to be careful here, there's another PCB. This connects to right here. There's a... Yep, that's exactly what that is. Well, we can pull the screen out of the way. So after I've taken close photos and documents of where all these uh, cables are being run, yeah, I think I can go ahead and start derouting these cables now. So we're going to start off up here in the camera and the antenna area. I think I'm going to start with the camera. Let's see how that, usually that's on there, like kind of glued on there a little bit. Okay, I just took a razor blade and was able to get underneath the camera. There we go. Take your spudger. Trying to pull that down. So, and you can see two little two little mounting pins here and there's little mounting holes on the camera so that'll give you a good idea of how to put it back on the new lid there we go piece of tape pull that down like that okay That's like that. So now we can go ahead and start to remove our antenna also. So it looks like the looks like the camera has an inside track on the trace. We'll just keep that in mind when we put it back together. And that is also glued or taped into place. Let's have to figure out how we're going to... Gently remove the antenna. All right, as you can see there, that's just adhered on there. And now we can start to remove the cabling. So this guy has an inside track. So most likely I will be replacing, starting with the antenna first and then coming in with the camera second when we are putting this back together. I'll stop right there, I'm out of camera. And then we'll pull out the antenna. Fairly simple. We'll go ahead and do this other side. This side has no camera, obviously. We're going to go with just one ca one cable, which is the antenna cable. Let's see if we can kind of get that started here somehow. There we go. There we go. Of course. Let's see if we can do it like this here. We'll just simply pull the tape off. There we go. And then 
pull that out of its trace. So far so good. I'm going to have to remove this piece of tape here. Alright, that folds down and that's going to release or help release the rest of this cable. Here's some more tape right here. And some more tape right over here. And then as you can see here, there's a divot where the cable before it goes through, before it ties into the hinge area. Move it out like that. Then you have this funny little PCB. Yeah, I'm really not sure what that is, this little PCB board, but pull that out. It might be microphone, actually. That's microphone. Yeah, that's what that is. All right, so there's that on that side. Let's go ahead and look over here and finish off this. Pull this tape off. It looked like somebody's already tried to start this process. Pull that tape off. Pull that off. And another, another little slot before it gets to the hinge area. That is now off. That is all off and clear. Over here, we have our video cable and we have our camera cable. Those are also clear. Now we can go through the process of just removing these hinge, these uh, hinge screws here. You know, in this case, it's easier to take this stuff off than it is to put it back on, and it's the putting it back together part that. going to be a bit more meticulous. Pull that off. Here we go. Okay, there is the old top lid. Grommets are missing here on all of them. Screws and grommets are missing here, but I can find replacement screws for that. I've got plenty of those, so what I want to do now is I want to work on this with the top cover back, with top cover on. So that's what I want to do. We're going to put the top cover on. This has the grommets. Yay! Get one on each side to get us started. That one. Maybe I'll stay away from the magnet. There we go. All right. We're going to go ahead and just get the rest of the screws put in. that in here. Now we go through the process of getting our cables routed once again. Okay, well you remember whenever I was talking about starting up top and then going down when it comes to removing those cables, you would think you would want to start at the bottom and work your way back up. But that is not the case because if by chance you start at the bottom and you route these and you don't have or you have too much slack or not enough, you have no way of taking up that slack or letting slack out, if that makes sense. So you want to, again, start at the top when you're putting these cables back. I think it's best if we go ahead and start up top first with this antenna cable because I'm doing this side first. 
still relatively sticky. So let me go back up. Let's see. There is no. Okay. Let me just stick that back up here like this. Push our tape down here again like this. I will. I will have some more tape to put over this before we close this up. But the antenna stays in there pretty good. That stays in there pretty good. Pretty sticky there. Now we want to go ahead and mount the camera. And we can do that. Again, there were two mounting holes. Here is two. One at the bottom here and one at the top up here. So you just line those up. Find them up here on your top lid here. Yeah, that's it right there. All right. Got that worked back into place. Go ahead and we can see. Oh, it's still got tape here. Gotcha. Yep, we're going to work that in. It's going to go underneath here. We can go ahead and get that under there. Get that there and there. Okay, and we'll just put that tape down to hold it there. Camera looks like it's installed okay, looks good. Antenna cable goes there, and then our camera cable goes here. That's what it shows. And then I'm going to let my Camera cable go in first, and then my antenna cable go in on top of that. Right, so I'm done with that, and notice here, everything is exactly in line as it was before. And this camera cable runs on the outside of this tape. Everything is in its proper slots. And then we work everything down from this side on here. The camera cable stays on the outside and the antenna cable stays on the inside. So we have to keep that pattern all the way down until we reach that bottom corner. Right now we're at the bottom corner. So here's where I just want to stop. Take a look at my photographs or my footage at that bottom left. Right. So it looks like when we get down to this corner, the camera cable goes first, stays on the inside track antenna cable so it rounds that corner exactly how the picture shows that I took of both cables down here at the hinge area Hinge area here. Rounding the corner once again. Yep, we'll keep the same pattern. Keep the same pattern here. Looks really good so far. There. Well, that's exactly what we're showing right there, baby. It looks like these. this just hangs out behind this tape, which they give you tape, but it's not taped yet. But that side basically is done. And so now I have 
you know, perfect. No slack. Any slack that I needed or is happening is going to happen down here to where I have some play with this cable. You don't want to get up to the top and need some slack because then you're going to have a big problem on your hands. You have to undo what you did. Trust me, ask me how I know. Okay, so there, that is it. So we could take um, we could take this and tape it up. Well, I'll wait till I'm done, but that's how that's going to go right there. Okay, let's get started on this right side. Up top first, as usual. Same way. We'll fit our antenna cable into place. Just like we did the other side. We'll take that down later. There's a nice groove for that cable to go right into, right around the corner. And then when we start coming down this side here, we're just going to hug it. And that goes in pretty darn easy. And then we start getting down into the bottom corner of it. Oh. I'm going to fold back our tape there. Keep it into that little groove. You'll feel a nice little groove right, hugging right on the edge of the plastic uh, railing there. When we get down to this bottom corner like that. There's a groove there for it. That, you know, it's pretty self Explanatory there. There we go. Got a little corner we got to round out here. So you see, we got to pull this down this way. Maybe kind of stretch this up a little bit. It's going to be a little tight. There we go. That's in place. That's in place. Everything's in place there. We come down here at the bottom. Just use your spudger to kind of work that in there. Push it in a little bit. Yep, and that's it right there. You got to be sure all that's sitting into the groove properly. Okay, then down here I noticed that uh, This cable needs to come out. I think this is that speaker board. So we'll put that in there. First, that's how it shows in the picture I took. All right, and then now I can replace that cable there. Now, so once everything looks exactly as it should, based upon the pictures that took. All oh, the cable routing looks appropriate. Before we actually tape anything down on here, I think it might be a good idea if we go ahead and take our screen, get the cables connected to it at the very least, flip it up and test to be sure that the display works. So we'll do that now. The way all this stuff lines up here is a little tricky to do whenever you're, we got this flat so I've got my trusty triangle, squishy triangle here, but I use this in situations like this where I can lift up the screen at an angle and I'll slide this underneath as a wedge. It's a little wedge tool there. And just wedge that up to enough where I can still work on things here. Now this is propped up a bit. Now I can go ahead and uh, See if I can get everything connected here. We'll start off with this very small ribbon cable. Okay, once that's flipped up, I want to take my little microphone here. If anybody knows what that is, post it down in the comments below. I honestly don't know what that is. And there's little um, standoffs where this goes to. There we go. 
And then we have our lever flipped up there, our zip connector. Let's get this little cable plugged in. That's plugged in right. Close that down. That looks right. And then let's go ahead over here. Then we'll get our video cable plugged in. Kind of fight with that a little bit. Okay, that felt that snap in. That's pretty good. We can very simply just lift this up. I'm going to take off the protective cover. Plug the laptop in. And we're going to press the power button. We have backlight. We have the HP logo, very good. So now we just need to be sure the touch works. Uh-oh, I just saw a bunch of phantom touches just now. There's another one. Phantom touches, but wait. Okay, I had to zoom in here just so you don't see the customer's name. It looks like. I'm touching here just to. Okay. Yep, it looks like the touch is working, everybody. It looks like the touch is working. Let me come over here. Let's come this side. Touch for the power. Give it a second. Shut down. Shut down anyway. Okay, that is shutting down. Looks like our touch is doing well. All right, it's off. So I am going to bring back up my trusty wedge here. I'm going to fold back the display enough. We can go ahead and take off these little flaps for the tape. Can apply our adhesive. Comes off. Push that up and just make sure that the cables stay and gives the screen a little bit of cushion. Peel that off. Flip that up. Okay. There we go there. So just want to put a little bit of tape up here to give that a little bit more stability. No matter how much or how little, we'll just give it some reinforcement there. Tape it down. We're good there. Okay, down here this little PCB board came out. So we'll put him back into place. Okay, and then so I'm going to make sure that this cable, wait, I do have some more things to tape down here. Let's get it right. So it was before. There's a little trace down here where that ribbon, where that the video cable ribbon cable goes through. So now we're at the point to where I'm getting it close to being in position. So I'm raising up on the screen. And I'm going to tuck that behind there because that's going to be very important into that trace right there. There we go. That worked out pretty good. All right? And then if we look over here. It looks to me, can't quite see that, but there's a little place where it looks like this cable might be able to hook into. Aha! A couple of little places, so that makes it even, you know, flatter. And that's it. I've got everything 
all cable management done. Everything's back into place how it should be. Everything's back into place how it should be. I've got all cable management done on all the way around exactly as it's supposed to be. So now I'm just going to fold this back and rest it. And now the big part is snapping this down perfectly around all the edges to where it, she shouldn't have to use much force and it should just snap into place. So you can kind of feel it snapping into place. Feel much over there. Okay, it's snapping into place over here. Don't do it. Everything snapped in. You can you can flip it over like this. And that will help you snap in these bottom pieces here. Like that. Snapped in nicely right there. And there you go. Let's give it a little power on. And there we go. There's our screen ready to go. Make sure the touch still works. Yep, touch still works. There you go. Hope this helps somebody out. This repair is good to go. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.